And one guy left, yes! You don't stand a chance against me, I'm gonna get you all. Boom, there we go, another Fury bites the dust. There he goes, three guys down. Oh man, I'm dodging the rockets, everyone's coming at me. What? This is crazy, what's going on here? Hello, boom, leave me alone, no! This is my last bot. <laughs> oh, man. What's up friends of the good mood, this is Money and welcome to the new test server here on War Robots with the following news. The new map called Bridge, which we already saw once on the test server, and the new heavy weapon Thermite, which is basically a heavy version of the AFIT, right? With the same tactical possibilities of firing across cover and stuff like that. Uh, 26,000 damage on level 8, so quite a lot of damage, although 10 seconds reload still, same as Vortex uh, and AFIT, so it's not a brawling weapon. You would still try to stay behind cover, right? And you can see the weapon, and between the weapon and placement, there's a little piece missing. They're probably gonna fix that soon. So anyways, let's go and jump right into the server. <laughs> and I was gonna make a golem with aphid, vortex, and thermite, right? That's what, what my plan was, but somehow the aphid is actually not part of this test server. What? I don't know, why? Uh, but So I was unable to make that golem, but I can make the boa here with the thermite and vortex instead. We have a lot of health, and uh, yeah, we have the ability to, s to snipe over cover, but of course everyone is using this weapon now too, because it's new. <laughs> so uh, yeah, everyone is firing back behind cover as well. Um, the map here is called Bridge, it still misses some textures, which will obviously going to, you know, be produced or implemented uh, if the map weapon or map comes. We already saw it a while ago, and it's an interesting uh, map because it has this one big map in the middle. Uh, this one big bridge, I mean, sorry. And, oh, did you see how much damage we just did? Um, and this bridge connects both spawns of both teams, basically, and allows uh, them to snipe and fire at everyone up there. Wow, look at the, look at the damage here. Um, snipe, snipe at everyone from, from up here, but at the same time, you're also a target for everyone, you know what I mean? It's not exactly the universal uh, solution to stay up here and snipe everyone. Basically, you are also still trying to, to uh, <laughs> yeah, to not get hit back. So here we go. And I'm walking in this weird angle here so that all the enemy uh, vortex and the enemy thermites are missing me, right? Because that's what happens if you stay and walk like this, sideways, with a relatively fast bot. Uh, just make sure never to stand still. And uh, also, of course, having some shielded teammates with you is a very interesting concept to win. Boom! That Fury has only taken almost, yeah, pretty much no damage, actually. Uh, so we can uh, it seems like we can't hit this Fury anymore. What's coming up there? I don't know what it is. 350 meters range, that's what I have. Can you please get out of my way? Thank you. So, okay, here we go, and boom. Nice. So, uh, yeah, this is the new weapon Thermite with the weapon Vortex combined. Oops. And this right there is the Dragoon. And there is a rebalance happened for the Dragoon too, guys. And you need to know that the Dragoon has been dealing insane amounts of damage before. And it basically was so dominant that you could snipe somebody at 600 meters range like instantly, right? And that has been changed. Um, so that the weapon is no longer that powerful. Uh, it now has a longer time between the shots. Look, they actually don't notice this guy coming up from behind. I have noticed this guy a while ago, but you know, look at this Fujin. He's actually not realizing that the guy sitting right behind him. That is so weird. Uh, it's people, that's people on the test server for you. <laughs> Just testing new things without taking too much time to figure out what's going on around them. Um, so yeah, boom, another hit. Amazing. Um, so like I said, we're gonna jump into the Fury with the three with the Dragoon as, uh, as well in a second uh, Because I really think it's a very interesting weapon and concept and now that it doesn't deal that insane amounts of damage anymore It's a little bit better balanced But still keep in mind guys that the weapon still seems to be performing too bad too good for the fact that it deals so much You know what I mean? It deals so much damage still and it's it has so much range the combination of as massive range and massive damage is something I don't think this is a good combination Anyway, so let's go here. This is the Dragoon weapon. Uh, you can see this is the damage. It's a lot of damage and we can do the same amount of damage at 600 meters range. Okay, uh, and obviously that's a lot. Still, even after making this weapon weaker. I want to get up there. Oh no, please let me let me live. Please, please, please. Okay, he let me live. Nice. He was probably still recharging his, uh, his trebuchets there. This guy over there is sniping at our base and I want to get him. There, boosh. 600 meters range, right? Uh, that's a lot. Oh, look at this Rogatka. Boom. I got him only once, though, and he jumped down. So I want to show you how fast the weapon fires in a, a you know, in a row. Uh, we're going to be able to look at this in a second. There is a... Uh, here. Boom. Boom. 
boom. It used to be boom, 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 boom. That's how fast it used to fire. Now it does this. So it has been balanced a lot better now. Um, but like I said, it's still incredibly dominant and very powerful still. So uh, you can see what I'm doing to that little carnage over there. Very, very, a lot of damage. And man, I actually even have this shielded guy with me here. Uh, this Ansel shield. That's really good. I have some backup here. Can I shoot over this? Uh, no, I can't. Um, so yeah, so this is, uh, hold on. I can, I can corner shoot him though. Oh no, he's coming with the uh, with the Orkins. I don't want to get hit by those Orkins now. So I need a little bit of cover here and backup. This guy, however, I can hit. Nice, he's down. Yeah, he. Why, why have you even? Sh this other guy is shooting at me with his fury. Why does he shoot at me? He can't even hit me. <laughs> what the heck? So, oh no, the oh see see that this is this is what I meant. This is the whole new tactical possibility here uh, of this new weapon. That will allow you to hit people that are way behind cover now with weapons that deal actually deal a ton of damage. I'm staying out of 350 meters range. That's what I'm doing right now. But it was not useful because in the end, I still got whooped by uh, by that enemy um, Zeus uh, Fury. So this is the butch, but the round is almost over. We have, we have ever actually not even captured one beacon. Anyways, we're jumping directly into the next one right here. After we've seen how much damage we've done. 800,000 damage. Look at the other people. They have done zero damage, but they won the round with three beacons captured. Three beacons captured. We have zero, zero, zero. Whatever. Anyways, let's jump right in. <clears throat> next map. Next lot. So, here we are again. Spawning. There it is. We're spawning in the bush directly because that's what we have just been not been able to use because of the uh, end of the round. Um, we have four times the thermite weapon on this thing. That's a lot of damage output. Uh, almost a hundred, no, more than a hundred thousand damage if all the damage would hit. But keep in mind that the switch, the weapon switch ability of that butch actually has uh, like a 20 second or so time before it does, uh, hits. And this way, why did we not do any damage? Was it a, maybe it was a Raijin with a shield? I'm not sure what it was. Ah, it might have been this guy, okay. See that? What I mean here is that we have this very long wait between the shots. So you basically fire one time your uh, your thermites without switching and the next time you fire them with switching again. Like this. Boom. Boom. So that was a good hit. <laughs> that Galahad has just taken a whole lot of damage and now he's jumping down. Of course back there is the other enemy Fury with, uh, with a Dragoon weapon. That's a bit very dangerous thing. I'm trying to walk down here so I can then from down here shoot at him. Because that's what this weapon is all about, right? Getting people that are otherwise not gettable for you. Like this, you see that? I'm just getting this fury. Of course, I'm like the only one who actually has any kind of offensive strategy here. Uh, and therefore, I'm being attacked and focused by, by all these guys alone. Uh, otherwise, I could just be... You, you, I, 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 this concept of the uh, aphid, vortex, and thermite works so that basically this is what you do. You try to outplay certain other setups by getting into a spot to turn their strength into a weakness, basically. And this weapon is meant to do that and do, does that very well. The only problem, <laughs> like I said, was that the enemy seems to have all beacons again. And we only have one. And uh, yeah, no one cares. No one uh, wants to actually be any kind of offensive strategy, just sniping from a distance. But yeah, see how much damage? We just depleted that freaking uh, butch almost completely within a matter of a few seconds there. That was a very quick kill. One more, one more, one more, come on! Oh, I got it, okay. I, I, it, that, that's how long the reload between the shots was. So that's why I was unable to get him killed quickly enough. So now it looks a little bit better on the beacon bar. Oh, hello. Okay, he, he got, okay, he was gotten already. This guy's out of range. We have 600 meters range. We need. To, we shall not forget that we have 600 meters. We can, of course, well fire over these obstacles there. And I'm not sure what he's using. If he has some kind of a vortex aphid weapon, that I can, of course, uh, nicely um, ignore that. And as long as I stay here, I'm. Sh I should be safe. Yep, I am. Look. I am under the bridge. This is like the best position for this bot right now. I'm under the bridge, so I no aphid or vortex or thermite can hit me. And at the same time, I have the perfect cover so that no guy can hit me uh, <laughs> with, with any direct fire weapon. Too good. Alright, you, he's going to bring his shield up in a second, I guess. 
This guy is dangerous, I should take care of him. Because the other guys, they can't really do much against me at this point. Uh, it's more like a matter of these... <laughs> oh man, boosh. Do you see what I mean? I still think that the weapon do uh, performs too good. It still seems to be overperforming in my book. Um, but uh, it's, it's definitely better now than it was before. Yeah, I would like to get this guy, but he is really in cover there. And, uh, there you go. One of them is dead. This guy over there, the Fujin. Oh, wow, he was, he was actually just waiting around the corner for this. Wow, I did not expect that. He was, he was, I saw that he was standing up there the whole time. What I didn't know is he had, he was only waiting for me to pop out here and did nothing else. That I did not know. <laughs> Yo, this position here is pretty good now, but it's, uh, they kind of made it worthless now by walking down here. Good. That was a good amount of damage there. <laughs> Dude, I like this position. <laughs> it's too good. You can stop shooting me now. Um, boom. 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 Wow. Am I the only one here? How is it that it's a 3 versus 6? How is that possible? I mean, yeah, I have a good position and I can defend it, but look how long. I mean, at some point, I'm not, I won't be able to defend it anymore. I got him still. Wow. And let's jump into this, this bad boy here. And attack him from behind with the good old uh, storm weapon at the rhino's back. Yep, we have an energy shield here. I actually used a, a Lancelot this time. Normally, I don't run Lancelot, you know that. But this is a different one here. It has uh, the, the storm. That's what I'm trying to say. It has storm. And with storm, you can do... It's actually a six versus one right now. This one guy seems to be almost AFK. Nobody cares. Look, all six people are coming just at me here. This shield has already sustained so much damage that it actually should, keep, should be going down anytime soon. But it's not. This, this shield is unbreakable. Now it's broken, of course. Ah, uh, okay, they took my beacon. Ah! Did you take my beacon? How dare you take my beacon? Boom, boom. So I've, I've, ta I've lost so much health just by staying walking around the corner there. Maybe I can... shoot across something there by going up here. Like this. Okay, this way they shouldn't all be able to... What? Wait, get this guy. Okay, that's what I wanted to do. Okay, I got this guy too. <laughs> oh man, one main army here. And one guy left, yes! You don't stand a chance against me, I'm gonna get you all. Boom, there we go, another Fury Bites the Dust. There he goes, three guys down. Oh man, I'm dodging the rockets, everyone is coming at me, what? This is crazy, what's going on here? Hello, boom, leave me alone, no! This is my last bot, <laughs> oh man. This is so crazy, what the heck is this? This is a test server. Everyone has as many bots as he wants. How is it possible that one guy, like that one team has only two or three bots left and the others are with six people there? No chance. <laughs> 1.4 million damage done, what an amazing round that was. And I think I've been able to show you guys the test server a little bit. Man, that was I think the best test server round I've ever been able to do, man. <laughs> Too good. Yeah, so this is it. We have seen the uh, Thermite weapon, the new map. We've seen the Dragoon and the new uh, weapon, how it per uh, you know, rebalance, how it performs. And uh, I really like this Boa with his lots of health. Only problem is that, you know, when six people shoot at you, even lots of health is down pretty fast, right? <laughs> so anyways, thank you guys so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, leave a like and comment down below. And if you haven't already, hit subscribe. It's brutal as a man can hit for more. And please also hit that little notification bell next to the subscribe button so you actually get notified when I make a new video, right? That would be cool. <laughs> Thanks for bearing with me. You guys are awesome. As always, Money Gaming signing off. Bye-bye.